what is up guys okay so this is the second um, video in relation to heart rate variability halter um, this is the software component where we're looking at actually reading the file in and generating a heart rate variability score which then you can analyze then later with SPSS so the very first thing you need to do is when you attach the ECG halter to your PC uh, you'll see um, a little drop box like this appearing you can enter the name just or participant number or whatever it is age various demographic details there click OK that should save um, it sh this box should pop up automatically when you install the USB cable from your EC ECG halter into your PC. If not, you can access it easily by going into File, New, and then click to connect your recorder and click OK. Um, once that's done, you'll see here a new number generated, and it'll be time stamped, of course. Um, now, when we analyze the data, we'll be using something called QBIOS, which is the academic uh, validated uh, software um, but for the purposes of this tutorial we need to transfer files into R&R files first uh, in order for the QBIOS software which is based on MATLAB um, to reading the files so all I'm going to do in this session is show you number one how to save the, da the data into this software which I've already done and number two, how to do a very simple analysis using this software first. So all you have to do is double click the participant that you want to analyze. Do the analysis again. Yes, we do. Um, click on accept. And then you'll get this uh, graph just showing the peaks. So th those are the R&R &R peaks. Um, when you want to do the analysis, actually click on the bar chart graph there like that. And then you want to click on the five minute recording because you will record this for five minutes in order to get the heart rate variability. It's important to make a recording of five minutes or more using the halter recorder. Anything less and the QBOS will not read it in. It will not read the, the data. Um, it will not analyze the data. So click on the five minutes and there you see all the information there. For heart rate variability, the main index is RMSSD. That means root mean standard squared deviation. Um, that's the main index for heart rate variability. Um, heart rate variability is associated with a the autonomic nervous response. So a uh, higher heart rate variability equals greater parasympathetic response which is like a more relaxed, less active response. Uh, a sympathetic response is an arousal response. So good health, uh, better outcomes are usually asso associated with parasympathetic responses, and that means you're looking for a higher post-intervention RMSSD score. There's also other factors here. The LF, low frequency, high frequency, I'll probably do a separate video going through what each of these mean in turn. We're not using this. This is the free software that comes with the actual ECG halter. We'll be using the um, um, QBIOS software. So all I'm going to do now is transfer this over to an R&R &R file, if I can remember how to do that. Um, there's the file we want. Click on Arrhythmia. Brilliant. So in order to do this, we simply click on the file, click on Arrhythmia, then we want to save it into an R&R &R file. The reason why we want to do that is that is that's the file format that QBIOS accepts. So it's saved in a text file. Um, stick it on your um, desktop or something. And I'm going to do a separate video then um, demonstrating how we then import this data into the QBIOS MATLAB based software to do the final analysis. So there is a part three uh, to the series and stay tuned for that.